Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle. And in case you didn't realize, the 2021 Yamamoto Cup, or the San Marino Pro, is today. And is a pretty good lineup, guys. This is your complete competitors list. I got this from Sanch Bodybuilding, Bodybuilding News Network. A lot of good names there, as you can see. But in my opinion, Nathan Diasha and Roly Winkler down there on the bottom are going to be the main factors. Samson Douda, of course. There's a few other guys as well. But in my estimation, in my opinion, I think it's going to be a rematch from the Europa Pro. And these are their last two versions. This is Nathan Diasha. He won the Arnold UK not that long ago, guys, right before the Olympia, like a week before the Olympia. And speaking of the Mr. O, this is Roly Winkler. And I gotta say, this is probably going to be a rematch of the Europa Spain, Europa Pro. Nathan Diasha is just structurally too dominant. Does not really matter about the arm size when you look at the relation to the waistline to the arm size. Then I think it matters more. Nathan Diasha is a stud for sure. Perfectly built for bodybuilding, guys. Front lat spread. This is going to be the same thing. Two front shots are uphill battles for Roly Winkler for sure. Now in his day, could have caught the front double on big Nathan Diasha. And hey, even in his prime, big Nathan means business in all of the shots. And this front lat spread, I don't see too many guys in the IFBB today taking him in this. In particular, Roly Winkler, where it's not a strong pose for him at all. With all due respect, of course. Turn to the side here, and the, these are from the Europa Pro. The Europa Pro. I apologize. My tongue was in customs. Didn't get, uh, didn't arrive yet. Anyway, side chest development. Now here is where Roly can catch Nathan Diasha. Is he beating him? That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that he can. He is able to catch Nathan in the side chest development. There was no side poses from Roly at the Olympia. Huh. Weird, man. This is the hoo-ha pose for Roly, but this is what he displays for a side tricep. When I first got into the sport, I was, you know, annoyed by this. Why? Why? Why not do it, you know, to spec? But this is suited to him. And hey, Nathan Diasha also hits this shot, so we could be seeing a hoo-ha pose down, in which case Roly may get an edge. With all due respect to Nathan Diasha. So... It's scientifically possible for Roly to tie it up. Not uh, not using these two versions. Go to the back shot, beginning with the rear lat, of course. This was always a strong pose for Roly Winkler when you compare his two back shots. Nathan Diasha, both rear lat and rear double. Good strong pose for sure. But this one here, I don't know. Bubunder, if he came in better condition. Of course, that's always the thing. I mean, these two versions, I believe hamstrings, glutes, Nathan Diasha, much harder, much more separated. So, yeah, I'd probably give him the win. But having said that, similar condition, those bat wings that Roly Winkler possesses, I mean, the rear double, you'll see, not the most gifted in the Latin insertion area, but at this shot, he looks pretty darn good. Wider waist, of course, too, so the X frame would go to Nathan. Rear double by, and this one, for sure. For sure, a Nathan Diasha pose. I mean, the way those lats, they swing out, just creates an awesome, awesome X-frame in combination with those wheels. Much dominant over uh, Bubunder. I have to say, guys, if Nathan Diasha pulls off this victory, which it is likely, that's three pro shows in a row. Three pro shows in a row. Who's going to touch this guy? Who is going to defeat Nathan Diasha? I mean, <laughs> he is looking pretty. He is looking pretty heading into the 2021 Mr. Olympia. That's, that's some info for you right there. That's free information. Abs and thigh pose. Another one where Roly could honestly catch Nathan. Now, is he defeating him? I think the quad development might be a little too much for Nathan Diasha. He is a uh, very aesthetically pleasing bodybuilder, is Diasha. And in this shot, Roly Winkler generally is too. He came in full. Came in as full as a house here at the Olympia. Go, go for broke, right? Anyway, 
if he comes in a little bit leaner at the uh, Yamamoto, he could, like I said, realistically defeat Nathan Diasha in the absent thigh, as well as the most muscular, even though that's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying Nathan is losing this at all. He's as wide as a house. Look at the delts on the man. I'm just saying that Nathan, this is not as strong as a victory. Has the couple of front shots, my word. And uh, the rear double in particular, probably winning both back shots was Nathan Diasha. I honestly hope that Roly Winkler... Oh, Nathan, you see that? Went down for the crab position most muscular, huh? Anyway... Anyway, I still like Bubunder in the most muscular. Little distension in the midsection. And that's going to be the thing of this matchup. Nathan Diasha, he's just structurally sound. Much better, much better. And he is your winner in this comparison. And in my estimation, he will be the winner of the Yamamoto Cup San Marino Pro. And if you did not uh, realize this event was happening, go check out Bodybuilding News Network. He did a prediction list. So much bodybuilding, of course. And Desktop Bodybuilding, starring Xavier Wills. He also did a uh, Yamamoto Cup. Two channels, guys. Those are your news channels right there. Hey, I'm a joke compared to those guys. Well, I, I do my best. I do my best. Trying to get a lot of uh, the Olympia related uh, videos out because that is what you guys definitely are interested in seeing at right now i mean the the views speak for themselves hit thumbs up on the video and look forward to the updates i'll let you know who won and the placings of the yamamoto cup hey samson Douda could get in there as well a couple other guys have a great day